Thank you so much, and thank you for joining us on this important night of celebration for GLSEN. Thank you, Janet and Lone, two people whose courage is such an inspiration for me. Um, you should check out Facebook. I have pictures with Lone Tran, really, and Janet, actually. Um, look around you tonight at the people who are here and the students you've seen up on this stage. Being GLSEN's executive director is an incredible privilege. But, believe it or not, being responsible for guiding the work of an organization intent on changing the world for the better through systemic improvements to K-12 school climate is sometimes stressful. <laughs> sometimes. Recently, during an incredibly busy stretch, a good friend asked me, what helps me keep going when times are tough? And my answer was immediate and simple. It is those moments when I get to witness GLSEN's power in action. Witness those split seconds when change actually happens that I know that the work is worth it. GLSEN's work is changing and saving lives every day. I know that here in my head. But in those moments when I witness that transformation, I can feel it in my heart as well. And that is priceless. I had one of those moments recently in Houston, Texas. Thanks to GLSEN Houston, I was there to appear on Great Day Houston, a local morning show, with two GLSEN student ambassadors to discuss our work. Now, while the students and I were waiting to go on, one of the producers came out to say how happy they were that we were there, but they just wanted to warn me that the audience was full of high school students from Katy, Texas, and that's a pretty conservative part of the state. A conservative part of Texas, mind you, okay? So, then, when Deborah Duncan, the show's wonderful host, pulled me aside to discuss the segment, she also told me about how there were all these high school students from Katie in the audience, but she really thought everything would go smoothly and be really great. And by that time, I'm thinking, geez, I just want to get our students' ambassadors out of here without being scarred by this experience. And then we go on. And the audience is indeed full of students with those wonderful adolescent at 8 o'clock in the morning faces. <laughs> and we start talking about the prevalence and impact of anti-LGBT bias and bullying in schools and all of GLSEN's programs. And Deborah turns to the audience and asks whether students see this happening in their schools. And I see the students start to wake up. And all these hands go up. And then Gabriel one of our brave student ambassadors, tells his story about what he has faced at school because of being gay and how he's determined to make a difference and he gets spontaneous applause from these students for making a stand. And as I, I know, it was amazing. And as I am breathing a huge internal sigh of relief, I look up in the audience and see a young man in the back row, sitting among his classmates from Katy, Texas, grinning from ear to ear in the most wonderful, quiet, and heartwarming way. And it is all I can do to keep from crying right there on live TV, because I have just witnessed one of those moments. That young man has just learned that there are people out there fighting for him and that his classmates get it. He is not alone, and he has hope. Listen is in the business of saving and changing lives, of providing hope and turning hostile schools into healthy learning environments for every student that walks through those schoolhouse doors. We approach our work to change the world as both science and art. 
we map our direction and test our progress through research, such as the study that drove the release of Ready, Set, Respect, as you just heard, or the evaluation of our teacher training programs to test for their positive impact on student experience. We must be able to demonstrate to our supporters and stakeholders that their partnership with GLSEN is working, that students' lives are getting better. But we also move our efforts forward through the art that is the fruit of long experience and lots and lots of practice. The persuasive personal story of a brave student sitting in the office of an otherwise impassive lawmaker. The creative mobilization of our National Safe Schools partnership of 100 leading education, civil rights, and youth development organizations in response to a breaking news story, or the hard-won ability to carry the message calmly and powerfully under the most difficult circumstances in a way that breaks the silence around these issues in Katy, Texas, or Decatur, Alabama, or Little Rock, Arkansas all places where GLSEN is at work. GLSEN's years of work to master the science and the art of deep systemic change have put us in a position to witness magic over and over again. But in the end, fundamental change in the service of human progress takes more than just science or art. The magic of change requires a catalyst. That is what you see on this stage tonight and in the audience, where we are joined by many former honorees, GLSEN staff, and volunteer leaders, brave and committed catalysts for change. Students, teachers, advocates, and champions who are part of GLSEN's team and who are willing to do the work to make a difference. And that is what you all are in the support you provide to us, catalysts for change. It is working. GLSEN has transformed the debate and is improving schools across the country. Ten years ago, GLSEN set out to ensure that LGBT students across the U.S. had the critical protections afforded by bullying prevention policies that specifically name sexual orientation and gender identity among their protected categories. At the time, only one state with just around a million students had such protections. Today, 15 states do, with nearly 24 million students covered by laws that are now being passed with increasingly bipartisan support. That's great news. GLSEN's work is now echoing out across the world. Just last Wednesday, I was in Paris addressing a UN conference on best practices on eliminating anti-LGBT bias and violence in schools. GLSEN's research, programs, and experience are being sought out by pioneering reformers from all corners of the globe. And GLSEN has been asked to partner with UNESCO to provide strategic advice in Africa, in Latin America, and in Asia. <laughs> GLSEN's work everywhere is helping to make schools not just safer, but better. When U.S. News and World Report named the top public schools in the nation two weeks ago, 19 of the top 25 had a connection to GLSEN. So with facts like that readily at hand, I know here that we're doing our job and making the most of all of the amazing support that you give us. But in that moment, when I saw that spark of change bring a smile to a student's face in Houston, Texas, 
I got to feel in my heart the most precious return on all of our investment. And I thank you all for being here tonight so that I could share it with you. Thank you and enjoy the evening.